fucked up the hostage. We need to take the skateboard out. Ah, dude. Right. Welcome to episode four of my. No, no, uh, I mean, uh... Is it four now? Cause I didn't really count the first two. Three? Ah, fuck it. Here's a meme. Hey, I'm Valkyrie. You know what I like? Balls. I love them balls. You need me to throw balls at you guys? Cause I got all kinds of balls. Dude, you gotta stop polishing those balls. I can't stop, man. These balls are on fire. Ugh. You decided not to join Team Rainbow. Cam Girl, Team Rainbow's best Pokemon trainer. She's a versatile operator that can serve as an anchor as well as a lurker, roamer, whatever. Whatever you want. Do you want intel? And lots of it? By Valkyrie. Let's talk about Valk's Pokeballs. So Valkyrie gets three of these cameras. They're different than the conventional ones that you can look at as a defender already. And the fact that they're capable of looking in any direction, they also see in color, and the audio you can hear out of them is a little bit better quality. You place these cameras by throwing them, and then they'll stick to any surface you fancy, including outside after the prep phase. I say after the prep phase, because if you try to throw them out of the windows with the big rev wall there, the game won't let you. The general idea in using these cameras, then, is to give you and your teammates more coverage of the map. They work particularly well in choke points like lawn hallways, staircases, and outside windows that are commonly entered by attackers. With enough practice, you can get really creative with these things and catch attackers with their guards down pretty easily. Oh Valkyrie's God. weapon options Holy. are decent. Holy. She gets access to a low recoil, low damage SMG oh, and a big ass right semi-auto shotgun. While first getting footage for this video, I had a tendency to use the shotgun a lot. I found it to be one of the more powerful semi-autos and I reliably got kills from what I would consider close-medium ranges with it. But as I started to get a better feel for how Valkyrie played, I actually yes! found that the precision ability of the SMG <laughs> to be able to reach out to enemies when I have the drop on them with my cameras to be very, very useful. Potato aim with the SMG, though, and you'll regret it immediately, because the damage on it for an SMG is very, very low. What? That's what I'm talking about, guys! Right there. Okay. Headshots are a must. Alright. Oh, oh, deep, deep, no! deep. <laughs> Fortunately, if you get headshots, this won't matter. It also doesn't get any access to an ACOG scope, but in my experience, if Valkyrie could snipe people, it'd make her cameras a little bit broken. The Deagle sidearm is a big, loud, and obnoxious fucking just... It's, it's a fucking meme, okay? It's, it's ridiculous. It has an absurdly high amount of recoil that basically makes it impossible to use when you're ADSing. It's more of a hipfire finishing weapon. Chances are, if you've already tagged an enemy when you pull this thing out, it'll only take one good body shot to down him anyway. Just hit 2 on your keyboard and click the shit out of that mouse button. She also gets access to a nitro cell and a shield. You, you know which... you know what you're gonna be using. I just got so many points for signal disruptors. That was fucking good. nice. Another one. What about Valkyrie's counters? You'll have to worry about Zappy Bitch because obviously she can take down the cameras with the drone. But there's one operator that Valkyrie really just does not get along with. God, she looks fat in that suit. I hate that bitch. <laughs> you know, a lot of people really bag on IQ, but if there's one thing that she's good at, it's countering Valkyrie. Because the advantage that you have with the cameras, even if you place them in locations that would normally be difficult to spot, all IQ has to do is scan them with her little, little scanny thing, and that's just gone. Your advantage that you had there with the camera is immediately removed. And, like I said, Valkyrie's weapons are good, and... You know, you can you can use them just like any other, um, but the attackers have really, really powerful assault rifles, IQ included. She has some of the best assault rifles in the game, in my opinion. The AUG is a really, really good mid-range powerhouse, and the SG is just so good in close quarters. So, you know, as soon as you lose your cameras, you're kind of at a disadvantage, and what happens here is that IQ sees that I have cameras out, she knows that she's not just gonna like run in like a dumbass, right? She's gonna drone me out first, and I'm losing all of my intel advantages here. The only thing I can do is play defensively. 
And I managed to take her out here, but she does tag me. She brings me down to 27 health. And that will bite me in the ass later. Because I won't be able to duke it out in a duel with some, uh, with some people that are pushing into the objective. Because you know, my health, in comparison to them, they're all at full health. I'm not, and we're at a numbers disadvantage right now. So I might have been able to take out IQ, but she really, really kind of helped in having the attackers win this round. Makes sense? Cool. So now that you know what can counter you, let me show you guys some examples of what you can do with this operator. Like I said, stairs are really good choke points to cover. My immediate reaction when I see Fuse is to call him out to my teammates. But since I know where he is exactly, I can just pre-fire him and get the kill. Now this is something that wouldn't have been possible to do with, with the shotgun, so you can see why I kind of gravitate towards the MPX. Okay, so now I know that he's not to my right. And I pull out the camera, and I have a camera set up on the laundry stairs, so I know that he's got to be, you know, pretty close to me by now. Go around the corner, get the headshot, finish him off, and then my teammates do the rest. Another common choke point on Oregon is that window facing outside a kid's room on the roof. So I'm looking here, and as soon as I see somebody rappel over there, I immediately go into action mode, and I go for a kill. Again, I know where they are, right? So it's basically like a call-out. If I have a general idea of where the enemy is, it makes it easier for me to take them out. Especially if they don't know where I am, I get to control the pace of the fight. Blitz manages to eat my nitro cell and my MPX bullets, and you can see where the weedy MPX damage kind of fails me. But my teammates are able to cover for me, and we manage to win this round and get a 4-0 shutout on a 4v5 match. So this is a clip where I was getting used to a new mouse, and I potato aimed here pretty hard, and as you can see, MPX damage... Oi. Real bummer. But, I still have the camera set up, and the camera's actually help us win this round because I active scan and my teammates are able to take them down. Now some people are really really anal about active scanning with cameras but I think that it has its purpose in the right moments and it helped us win this round especially so nothing wrong with it in my opinion. By now I think you guys get the general idea so I won't ramble much more. There's multiple ways you can play Valkyrie you can play a more passive style and be an anchor for your team, or you can go out of your way to get easy frags. I prefer doing the latter with this character, personally, because it's just more fun. Take the SMG for long-range fragging capability, and take the spas if you feel like getting up close and personal. With all that being said, I hope you found this video helpful. If you got any tips for how to play Valkyrie, please leave them in the comments section for other people to see. If you haven't already, follow me on Twitch. I use a lot of footage from my streams. Thank you all so much for sticking through this series and its many, many format changes. I promise you, this will stop. I think I have a really good idea of how to approach this series now. I can't say thank you enough to all the support I've been getting. Until then, good luck out there, and give them hell.